Oh, g'day Scrappers, just going out to do a bit of a pickup today. Um, it was actually got a message from one of my uh, subscribers on YouTube. Um, sent me a message telling me that they've got some stuff for me to pick up, so um, yeah, that was nice on. I think there's some computers and um, laptops and monitors and stuff like that, so yeah, um, they're clearing out house, so um, they gave me a message to say come and pick it up if I wanted it, so why not? I'll take all the scrap that I can get, so um, let's get out there and uh, see what we can um, pick up from this place. Well, okay. Well, that was awesome. Scored uh, a lot of interesting electronics from this uh, guy. Um, basically, helped him clean out half of his garage. He's moving out, so he didn't need all this stuff. He just wanted to get rid of it. So, um, yeah, even got three old lead acid batteries. 20 bucks right there but yeah so this video is probably going to go for a little bit longer than I thought I'm going to go through some of these bits and have a bit of fun picking through it and seeing what's there um, the most exciting thing is uh, there's a server up the back and uh, I'm really happy with that server it's it looks like if the CPUs are still in there it looks like a Pentium Pro server that'll be interesting also got an interesting Amstrad system so I'm really happy with that I like Amstrad because Amstrad was my first PC I ever got uh, so I, I like Amstrad so we'll check that out and uh, some yeah some real oddball bits and pieces so let's get into this okay even got some nice tablets apparently they one definitely works another one needs to be reset or something so that's bonus so there's another one so yeah but there's some real interesting goodies in this bag as well so I'll, I'll just get out some of the junky bits first and get rid of them I've got you know a couple of TVs and some old CRT monitors that I need to put aside and scrap them out for copper and then just take them to the recycling center. Um, so, yep, you know, I took all his electronics, um, you know, whatever he wanted to give me to get rid of. So, you know, obviously you take the, the junk with the, the good and um, I'll just process that and get it at least, you know, like this big TV here, at least, um, it's not going to just go into a, a skip bin and then sent to landfill you know at least you know this stuff gets stays out of landfill gets recycled properly even the cardboard boxes are going to get recycled properly so all right can't wait to get through this okay here's the first real interesting item get it up Okay, it's a bit dusty. It's a um, it's an old Amstrad, and looks like it's got a cover missing or something. It's got an old five and a quarter floppy PC sixteen forty with a thirty megabyte hard drive. That's interesting, isn't it? wonder what year it is um, I'll check it out it's been obviously sitting in the garage for years so it's uh, it's a bit um, dirty I'll see how how it cleans up um, okay yeah. So we've got battery compartment here on top. All right. Interesting. I'll clean up this monitor and if it powers up, it might be a, a good thing. Um, just an old 
part of the collection but obviously I'd want this to be in reasonable condition it looks where might have some empty bits but then again these old systems they didn't have really much to them anyway uh, doesn't have the year here but um, yeah PC 1640 parallel port serial port <laughs> video there's the uh, power in wow see if I can just uh, pop it open okay oh gosh okay so it's got an old very old motherboard on here. Still got a uh, card in it. Um, so the CPU will probably just be a uh, like an IC chip. So there's really not much to this one, and you know it's this uh, shield plate is, you know, it's obviously seen. Um, it's gotten a lot of moisture from the air over the years so it's rusted up and uh, so I can pretty safely say that this is probably not going to be running <laughs> um, but I might just uh, yeah it's a it's a shame it's not in you know really nice condition but you can't expect that I mean that would be a bit too much to uh, ask but I like my interesting stuff, so I'm still happy with it. I'll, I'll just look it up and see what it's about and uh, check out the motherboard. It might still uh, be useful, you know, if I can clean it up. Yeah, very interesting. I've still got the all the cables so yeah well so much interesting things to go through this is uh, a virtual reality glasses okay well it still looks brand new so that's cool some might want that don't know what how to uh, hook it up or anything but um, that might be interesting to someone it's a little PC HP that's a cute one interesting so it's only uh, 12 years old T5720 compact okay I'll just probably just end up scrapping that out. Got some goodies in here. This was a Bluetooth headset and so on. Okay, interesting. Uh, what's that? Uh, a mini boombox MP3. Huh. Pretty old, a bit dusty in that mini boom box. DSC might keep that. Do some calculators. Till then, yeah. What's that digital mini ear player? Oh, that's cute. interesting circuit board in a almost looks like a little display model shall check that out oh he gave me a one of those smart watches 
said it's just a Chinese one but still it's a smart watch probably needs a, a battery interesting oh gosh another little digital music player yeah I like these oddball technologies that came out once and probably didn't last very long I like keeping those little things as yeah it's another one um, all right I've got two and a half boxes of these network cards brand new so the older style but you know probably no no point in trying to sell this sort of stuff but still a lot of slot cards heaps yeah they're all the all the same wow so this all came out of a garage at a house so he's obviously uh, stocked some of this stuff over the years from wherever he's got it uh, we've got cables bag of cables all right ah oh. oh. even got a nice old bag but yeah these HP tablets uh, yeah nice little tablets he did say that um, one of them he got working um, reset it or whatever and uh, another one still needs that so yeah they might be interesting uh, I might just put them in my own collection of tablets this one here I think was a personal tablet yep it's another HP if I don't have it I'll keep it in my collection there's some really goodies here first I'll show you this this is awesome <laughs> make some room here check this out I haven't seen one of these before this is a little bit of a collectible in a nice little pouch check it out stereo twin singer portable disc and cassette player I thought it was like a CD disc no it's actually a record player how's that don't know when these came out Twin Singer DCP 840 made in Japan Wow and I'll open it up check this out this whole thing opens up and look you got a little turntable and plays little records <laughs> and a cassette so it's like a little stereo system how awesome is that yeah, and it's still got a needle. Put the needle under record. Wow, so it takes little, um, they call them discs, stereo disc player. So, you know, little, little turntable. How cool is that? And it looks like it's never been used, you know, just got a little bit of dust on it, but how unusual is this? just a little portable system wow now that's if that's not collectible I don't know what is you know I've never seen one I didn't even know this thing exists I'm gonna look it up twin singer because yeah that little turntable I just want to know what kind of records play on it um, they look like they're only small little records but how cool is that you know just to score that in a in a e-waste pile is um, usually enough to keep me happy for the whole job but uh, there's so much more what's in here oh, it's a HP laptop now oh, yeah pick up these from schools quite often with the um, Intel Atom. That's another laptop. 
Wow, we've only just, I've only just gotten a few things out of the back. Oh yeah, there's a couple more laptops in here, larger ones. He mentioned this, oh yeah, the Nvidia Quadro. He did say it's the FX4800. He did say these were very expensive in their time. Uh, I might see if my PC guy might be interested in it. You never know. Probably not. It's uh, getting old, but uh, it's just a um, it's a uh, elite pad. It's probably in there. It's a docking station for the uh, little lap little pad. And this, what was this? Can't remember what he called this. It's like a it's a mouse. It's a really heavy little thing. It's, it's got I a rubber thing. So it works as a mouse. I've never seen these either. Just really interesting oddball things. This I'll definitely keep just uh, because I don't think they would make stuff like this anymore. I'm not sure. There you, you know, I think this is for, you know, when for computer sort of guys, you know, like uh, using graphics system or CAD systems, it might be a better way to navigate on the screen, just like a mouse. It's really interesting that. All right. Well, that's some goodies. A couple more bigger laptops. And that's it there. Just make sure there's no money. No. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm happy with that. Ah, uh, yeah, so so far, Amstrad is the pick of the bunch, and well, this stereo system is the pick of the bunch, I suppose, because I can actually keep this and it's collectible. It's not too big, it's got a pouch, original, so this is instant collectible. Let's go and uh, have a look at what else we've got. Wow. So yeah, I've got some big TVs and stuff that I've got to uh, process and recycle. But once again, you take the good with the bad. All right. Wow. Where do we go? It's like a box of cable and some modems. There's another little HP PC. Cool. Right, yeah, I've stuffed all these monitors at the back here, so I'll just get rid of these CRT monitors. Okay. Uh, this is a Toshiba all-in-one. Um, it was a pretty good one, it's a, got an i3 inside it. I'm assuming it doesn't work. And, uh, I might plug it in, but yeah, I think it's just going to be one to scrap out, but you never know. So one of my PC buyers might be interested in it too. So, But yeah, that's, that's all right. A complete PC. It's that little HP. Uh, it looks like a box of, yep, just goodies. Mostly... Uh, Yeah, mostly cable stuff, sort of a server link, but yeah, mostly cables. I'll go through those cables later and sort them out and process them. Oh, there's a compact access point. Huh. Two aerials put them with my other access points <laughs> alright so we're into the front stuff now mostly PCs still got some boxes of cables and modems keyboards but yeah so far pr 
pretty cool and uh, you know this was just uh, just a bonus pickup from um, from a house you know the guy uh, watches some of my YouTube videos and um, it happens you know probably every few months um, I'll get a guy that watches my YouTube stuff and uh, decides to get rid of um, an accumulation of electronics that they have in their garage so you know instead of them throwing it away into landfill or wherever um, you know but you know sometimes I pick up some real good valuable stuff and uh, they know what they've got obviously so you know they just um, just want to donate some electronics there's a nice old PC it's got a Celeron CPU in it nice so some nice Core 2 V Pros HP these aren't entry-level systems okay so this is just a generic computer world kind of um, yeah it's got an old floppy so be interesting oh, it's got an AMD Athlon Windows XP AMD Athlon yeah nice processor yeah these, these aren't entry-level stuff oh here's the workstations so this is the XW 4550 workstation and um, because I'm not technically minded I wasn't even sure what a workstation was I thought a workstation is just a server but the uh, this guy explained it a little bit to me so at least I got a little bit of a better understanding of what a workstation is um, workstations yeah uh, I kind of understand it but I don't know if I understand it enough to explain it okay Some standard HP's pick up a lot of them from schools normally they're good they pack their punch in weight they weigh quite heavy for little PCs here's another workstation I think yeah wow oh yeah HP X4000 Windows 2000 Xeon a couple of Xeons inside here nice be a good motherboard in there good weight good gold recovery maybe there's another XW8400 workstation yeah so I'm going to scrap some of these workstations out I might do a, a video on these because they're different to servers they're not going to be much different inside but still it's uh, just a different subject another HP oh yeah XW6200 workstation cool so I've got a few different versions there we got some cables and stuff so as you can see um, this is you know a great bonus pickup from you know just a, a random subscriber giving me a call you know it's just awesome I also get guys that um, have seen my board buying videos uh, most of you know that I buy circuit boards from scrappers so I've gotten quite a lot of um, people to uh, sell me uh, circuit boards just from my YouTube channel you know obviously I can only deal with people mostly in Melbourne but you know I've had the international guy that brought me all those Pentium Pros and 486s and uh, so I haven't been you know back from holidays long and well my first tub of uh, motherboards is already starting to fill up power supplies mid-grade boards uh, low-grade power boards and stuff all right I'll wrap these up 
So obviously this kind of stuff, it's cables and, you know, even old style modems, Christmas lights even. Um, you know, so just stuff to get through and make a bit of money on that, you know. Um, once again, it's all better than going in landfill, hey. At least uh, gets to the recycling centres or to the scrapyards. So these are my nice stack so far. Workstation, semi vintage, another HP Core 2 V Pro. Might just be a a um, just a PC. This one here is a PC, a generic brand. Um, yeah, it's got an old floppy. So I think they had the yeah the AMD Athlon inside, and there's a workstation. And this one's about the biggest workstation. This is nice. Yep, the 8400. So I've got a 4550, a 6200, 8, and a 4000. Oh, that's even bigger. Uh, it's got a floppy. Oh, they, these two have both got floppies. Okay. So, yep, they've both got Intel Xeons inside. Cool. A couple of HPs. HP PCs. Uh, this one hasn't got the RAM inside, but oh well, still got CPU. I've got quite a few of them stacked up over there still. Yeah, I'll get through them slowly. I've got another pickup tomorrow to do. Uh, it's a regular. It's one of my clients that I've got one of my wheelie bins at. So when the wheelie bin fills up. They call me and I go and empty it out. Sometimes get some good stuff there too. The first ever pickup I did there was one of the most amazing server pickups I ever did. All right. So a whole lot more cables. So we've got some value there. Okay, I've got to get this server out. More cable. Here's an old HP Vectra Pentium 3. That's nice. Nice old vintage one. It's been sitting in the garage for a long time, so it's yeah. It's also got the uh, missing the power supply, so it's just one for scrapping. But I'm happy. Oh, looks like we've got some more laptops here. Uh, oh, some, some old well, XP professional, but uh, yeah, old HPs. Cool. More laptops. Oh yeah, there's some more laptops down there. And there's my server. got to get it out. Check out that. Wow. It's got, look at the size of the power supply modules there. Oh, there's only one main power supply module. HP NetServer LXE Pro 6 slash 
Net Server LXE Pro HP. Check it out. Hey, Pentium Pro processor. Hey, you don't see that logo very often on stuff that we pick up. Gosh, when it comes to servers, I only collect one kind of server, and that's IBM. I like my IBM vintage stuff. So, um, you know, if this was IBM, even in this condition, I would have kept it 100%. Cleaned it up best I could, and uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, this is, uh, it's, it's, it's not in like collectible condition, so. Okay. This will give me a better look. Uh, not really. Oh, okay. Right, there we go. It's a different kind of. Is that the motherboard? Yeah, looks like it. Wow, well, that's. It's one of those um, six times eight six PR two hundred. Well, as far as gold recovery, these are one of the best. Are really good. These PR two hundreds. Um. But it's not a Pentium Pro, not the type that I know of anyway. So that looks like yeah. Oh well if that's the motherboard, geez, it's not much of a motherboard. Well at least it's still got the CPU in it, but yeah. Well, there you go, no point having to scrap it out if this is it. It's a nice slot card. But just the condition of the the top here. Yeah. 686 PR200. I've got these CPUs um, in my own collection and as well as in Gold Recovery. Now, I know that you know the gold recovery rate is good on them, really, really good. But it's not a Pentium Pro PR200. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe they just put a sticker on it because I'm pretty sure that yeah, this is where it all goes. Because down there we've got power supply module. And these ones look empty anyway, so yeah, there's a uh, all that's really in here now, apart from this one power supply, is the back plane board that will go along here. There's another little board here, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, oh, well, nothing special, but still. A nice ceramic CPU, they're getting harder to get anyway, but uh, certainly not a Pentium Pro. Oh well that's a shame, I was looking forward to it, and because this motherboard's just been sitting like that, it's, it's not going to be any good and yeah. The funny thing is that this is just a, a PC motherboard. It's uh, it's not really a server board, you know, and it does say on the configuration, um, you know, that's a dual socket, and there's certainly no dual socket here, so maybe there's someone's taken it out and turned this into a PC kind of thing in its day, uh, or tried to, and just left all the bits like that because they couldn't get it um, working or they just changed their mind because it's certainly um, I'm pretty sure this there was a different board in there oh well 
Oh, that's a shame. There's no hard drives. Oh. Still ultra heavy. Okay, they're just uh, empty, floppy. Okay, so it's just a back plane board in there, and this back plane board, to be honest, it's not even worth going to all the trouble trying to get it out. It's they're usually really hard to get out, and there there's no value in them. They're only worth a dollar anyway in scrap. But uh, oh well. Oh well guys, well what do you do, beggars can't be choosers, <laughs> you get what you're given and uh, hang on, we can go in the side here, okay, so yeah that's the power supply module, and that's all there is to it, back plane board, scrap metal. So it was a good thing that it wasn't in really nice condition where I just left it and just stored it away thinking this is a Pentium Pro system and it's, you know, um, so good thing that I've got it. So it's mostly scrap metal, but that's all right. I'm still happy with my ceramic. 686 PR200. It's got a bit of corrosion on the top. Must be from just moisture, residue. But I've got like almost mint condition spe species, specimens of these. So that one will just go for a gold recovery. All right. Well, that was pretty awesome anyway. Um, wow. So I've got all these workstations to scrap out. Seeing that I, I'm not going to do the server video, I'll, I'll definitely do a, a video on scrapping out different workstations because it's just something that we don't get very often. Um, well, I don't anyway. You might get one, you don't particularly pay attention to it, you think it's just a server. So now that we've got like, looks like, uh, four different types of workstations at least that'll make a, a good video and scrapping them out and just seeing what we get out of each one um, and the rest well they're just probably generic PCs and this one here which had the don't know oh it's got a Celeron Intel Celeron inside but who knows well it's definitely got a motherboard in there so yeah yeah, no, nah, awesome. So two, four, six, seven um, of these full size. I got two smaller forms and two very small forms. Really nice. Got that Amstrad. I got to check out. Um, yeah, quite a lot of little bits and pieces. A lot of cables. Got a lot of uh, laptops and some really nice. Um, pads whatever they're called and uh, that beautiful little um, this thing here super happy with that at least this one's in <laughs> complete condition and it's it looks brand new I don't think this has ever been used it might have been just a gift and they just never got around to it but it doesn't look like well, <coughs> I don't know if it's going to be in amongst the pile. There's so many cords and cables. It'll probably be impossible to find. But obviously there's no DC cord. And uh, it goes speed 33 and 45. Huh. And uh, so, but oh, I think that would be a generic plug would fit in there. Hopefully no batteries, no. That's perfect condition. Batteries, looks like batteries have never been in there. So, 
that's an extra plus yeah I'd say that this is uh, brand new it doesn't have really any scratches not much anyway doesn't look like just yeah and how's that little turntable that's as uh, bizarre as you find all right awesome so quite a few PCs I end that um, Toshiba all-in-one i3 uh, it looks like a 27 inch um, so many cables got a got a lot of work to do what an awesome pickup though hey you know it's not a business or anything it's just a guy's garage and um, yeah very cool still got a lot of goodies to get through here some laptops got that got this nice old Pentium 3 HP Vectra that's a nice one too Pentium 3 cool scrap that one out and yeah more laptops well there you go I'll just continue on here that was my little pickup for the day and uh, yeah just a bonus pickup so thanks to the guy if you're watching thanks for letting me have all this stuff certainly going to keep me busy for a while and uh, here's a new compact thin client get a good motherboard out of it anyway but yeah it's uh, it's been awesome got some great vintage stuff and gonna have a bit of fun with all that there we go See, this is part of the Amstrad it's the keyboard well this is actually a, a good little piece this because the keyboards how's that for a socket almost impossible to replace one that looks like that anyway <laughs> you're sure you can get the uh, six pin socket but not that way but yeah this could probably clean up and it goes with the Amstrad so we've got a complete Amstrad here as you saw the the motherboard was uh, the shield over the top was completely rusty so um, I don't know you know that no doubt would do some damage but uh, the actual um, the monitor itself if it worked it would be worth keeping the keyboard is definitely worth keeping and this base unit well I'll just check it out might just keep the board and get rid of the rest I'll just see because um, the CPU might still be valuable there if it's removable RAM as well that would be valuable wow awesome alright guys well I've got a lot to do so I better get into it and start processing this and just uh, sorting out all the cables and stuff and um, make some room here but yeah what a awesome little pickup for the day and just a bonus out of the blue uh, a few days ago or last week contacted me said if you want it come and pick it up otherwise it's going in the bin well awesome pickup so if anyone else out there is watching and you got stuff that um, you've been stockpiling for years and you don't know what to do with it or you just want to clear out the garage hey send me a message I'll come and pick it up no problem if there's you know if there's enough to uh, make it worthwhile driving out I'll come and pick it up no problem alright guys hope that was a bit of fun for you I'm gonna do some hard work now keep scrapping have fun and uh, look out for the next video maybe do a couple more street scrap videos before uh, the end of the year and then I'm just going to keep busy and start scrapping a lot of stuff and uh, really get my levels of uh, scrap down so I can start the new year with uh, fresh uh, um, fresh bins and plenty of space a lot of slot cards in there yeah that was good alright guys catch you next time